doing all right I'm happy to stable that for you okay so okay we don't need to sell anything to have space we got the Shire here that we got from Hosea the Tennessee Walker we've been calling whiskey but we're actually gonna sell this because we got max bonding with them so thank you whiskey for all the help that you gave us and everything but it's time for you to retire Live a good life and maybe help somebody else who needs your help. But we're good without you. So thank you so much for everything. And sorry you were dirty all that time. Alright, so right now we're working on Beatrice. And then this one is not set up. I'll get you switched out. Okay, we're gonna settle. Let's get them switched out up. Upgrade services, rename horse. This one is going to be Beatrice 2. You sure? Don't know if I'd want to be hollering after a horse with that name. All right. Now, I'm probably not going to name the other two Shire horses this, but, um,. They get a little bit, you know, emotional and sentimental. I recently just um, had a dog that has passed. I've probably talked about my dog a couple times, a couple of my videos. Um, it's mostly my mom's dog at this point, or speed. was. And I had, we had him when I was in middle school up until now. And he's been getting pretty old, and he's had a lot of health issues and stuff, but it was to the point where as much as we did everything we could, it just kind of came to a point where we need to put him down. He unfortunately was getting seizures, and he just was recently diagnosed to be diabetic, and we were having him on insulin, and he was doing good again, but then he got started having seizures Hope and stuff, so we decided to not let him suffer and put him down, and... Um, sorry if I am getting a little bit emotional, but I love that dog a lot. We named him Owen, and he's been in my life most... He has... was in my life for many years of it, um, since I was in middle school and stuff, and we put him down, I think, just last month. It's been almost a month at this point, when I kind of started the walkthrough, and he was a black lab, so... I think, I, I'm not going to name the other two Shire horses this, but in honor of kids, my dog, I'm going to go ahead and name this horse after him because he was a black lab, and this is a a raven black coat Shire horse. And we always called him a big boy, you know, and we loved him very much. So I'm going to go ahead and name this Shire horse in his honor, and I'm going to try to keep this horse throughout the entire game in his honor but like you know i don't i didn't originally plan to keep this horse throughout the entire game but you know maybe i will now now uh, i got some sentimental value in him more you know naming people. him in honor of my Sometimes. my light light dog i loved him very much so if you're curious to learn more about him just imagine he's just a uh fun loving caring and just a gentle black lab i loved him so much i still love him i miss him so much and hopefully this kind of, this allows me to still kind of hold on a little bit to the love that I still have for that dog. So, yeah. Used to have a good cobbler across the Sorry if I did get a little bit emotional there, but I really do miss my dog. It's only been a month, you know, and, um, you know, pet, pets are like people in your family that they just love you unconditionally if you love them. You know, you, you could be, you could mess up, make a mistake, and they'll still love you. Uh, there are too many bad owners out there, but I'd like to think that Owen loved us and we loved Owen enough Enough. that we were good owners to him. And wherever he is now, if you believe that all dogs go to heaven or whatever, that he's up there right now just waiting for us to be there. But, yeah. 
Yeah, sorry to bring down the mood and everything, talking about my past dog, but I just wanted to explain why I'm giving this name to this horse is Owen, and, and if you're wondering where the name Owen came from for a dog of all things, well, to be honest, a um, little bit of backstory. Sorry, I keep wanting to talk about my dog, but uh, before my name was decided to be Seth by my parents, one of the names that my mom floated around was Owen. She always thought Owen was a good name. So I suggested when we got the dog, I was like, hey, like, why don't we name him Owen? You know, since you never got to name me Owen and we, you and my dad decided to name me Seth, like now you can name, have a, a son in quotation marks named Owen. And she thought it was a cute idea. So we went with it and it really worked out. I have not met another dog named Owen. So yeah, you know, like, there's, there's a little bit of a uniqueness to him with the name alone, but, well, I know they called you a mean bastard, but, no, I bet you're just, you're a good horse. Your namesake says so. We're still gonna stick with Beastress 1, and try to get her trained up to rank 4, which still shouldn't take too long. Ah, look at that. The question mark on the map. That's actually meant for the back of the doctor's place. All right, now man. that we've discovered that there is a, uh, a secret business there. We can actually look there. You can look there even without the question mark. That can be actually how you discover it. But now the map will actually show you. I see you there. Give me a minute, please. Now, once you find the dinosaur bones, you just gotta send the mail through mm -hmm. here. Yes. Each individual no one. None. This will get going in no time. You can wait till you Thanks, got Commissioner. all of the one, all of the. Uh, I know some people are thinking, are you gonna start the hunting challenge, hunting side activity yet? No, I am not. I will eventually. I haven't decided if I want to do them in the main game or just the epilogue because you can't finish them all until the epilogue. But, we will get to it, I promise. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I did not mean to bump into your horse, I am so sorry. But yeah, you can wait all at once. I like to do them as, like, I find them and then come across towns. That way I can have kind of a consistent, like, just kind of completion. And, like, she's supposed to send you a reward for getting a certain amount, so that does that before she sends you the final reward either. Alright, so, what we have next... So, we actually get to do some treasure hunting. Let's go around this train. It's getting in our way. Before we 
start the next stranger mission. I'm hoping to find we can find some Kentucky Saddlers, because that's actually the next horse that I'm going to study, and it's the next entry in the journal as well, so... I, I believe these are Kentucky Saddlers, so... Yes, they are, which is exactly what I was hoping for. Track them through. Watch one of them not be a Kentucky Saddler and then ruin everything for me. Yep. The jerks. So we got a black coat studied, silver bay studied, another black coat, black coat. Yep. Oh, looks like it automatically did the update to a journal entry. Easy now. Gray. Silver Bay, Chestnut Pinto, oh sweet, we actually started doing that challenge too. We're not going to break these horses and start and try to bring them back to anything just yet. I just wanted to study these and make sure I knew which, um, which ones I studied. Okay, so we got Silver Bay, Gray, Black, and Chestnut Pinto. I think there's one more Kentucky Saddler coat. I could be wrong about that though, so don't quote me on it as of this current moment. But... Is this it? It is, I think we got all five now. Buttermilk Buckskin. I think this one's the rare one. Is Buttermilk Buckskin. So just keep that in mind. So we studied all five Kentucky Saddlers. Man, we're getting... We are making progress. Horseshoe Overlook. Met a lady scientist. Deborah something or other. Seemed to be more mad than sane. But I don't have much frame of reference for scientists. Wanted me to see if I could help her find dinosaur bones and send her the details. Maybe. And there we got the Kentucky Saddler. Yep. I will come back for you beautiful creatures later. The reason I try to study a lot of horses as early in the game as I do, you know, get because we're going to get the American Paint one next, is so I can start bonding with more of them soon. Because if I'm doing every coat... And every breed of every, every coat of every breed at least once to level four. I'm going to be bonding with a lot of different horses. So yep. I try to get them in the journals so I can still stick to that as soon as possible. And then I'm always working on bonding with one or the other. Like You'll notice I always play. I'm always progressing something to some degree. A lot of it might be off screen, but I promise you it's, it, 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 it's all... It's all it's all up here. It all works. We are not going to do that stranger mission just yet. We're actually going to come back to that later. That actually is a newspaper article I want to read yeah. before we discover that stranger mission. Which is not even a stranger mission. It's basically an introduction to collectibles. Easy. Whoa. Something. What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. 
Máximo Cristóbal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. We could rob him, but, you know, I think this guy doesn't mean us anything. Like, he isn't trying to swindle us, so we're going to buy it. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. And if he does... If he did swindle us, then, um, I guess that's payback for acting arrogant towards the one guy we beat in sharpshooting. Because that's pretty much what we just paid him. Good luck to you. Alright, we have started the Explorer Challenges, which is basically just like the Treasure Hunter Challenges in RDR1. So they brought that back, which is awesome. I love this aspect of RDR1, and we're going to get to do it again. So it looks like there's a small town... And we gotta climb up some mountains and then go along the edges and we'll find it. I know where this is, so I'm just showing the map to show the directions it gives us. And basically what it's trying to tell us to do. So the small we're actually gonna go to that small bird town, explore that, and then we'll head towards a little mountain that it wants us to find the treasure in as well. You can rob him if you want, that is feasible. Here is the small town we're going to head to. And I think, uh, yeah, there's a... There's supposed to be another dream catcher down here, so we'll pick that up as well. Or, you know what? Now I'm thinking about it. The map might be referring to Valentine as well. It could be either or. It doesn't really matter, I guess. But I do know where we have to go. So if you are using my walkthrough yep. to kind of help out with some 100% things, you're just going along and with me. Sorry, I thought I heard like some sort of buzzing. It's having a little freak out there. Let's see, where are you at? All right, there it is. So here's another dream catcher. Slow up now. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I looked away for a second. All right. There's one more off the checklist. We're gonna head towards this small ta abandoned town down here. You have found a legendary fish location. Your map has been updated. Yeah, we really haven't gotten fishing yet, so we're not going to worry about that, really, at all. Yeah. Looks like we got an abandoned town here that we can explore. 
So we're gonna look around a bit and see what we can find. We got some valerian root, so we're gonna drink that. Try to level up our dead eye as fast as possible. And then some premium cigarettes. So we can get another card from here. Hopefully it's one that we can't get before the epilogue. Let's see. Alduis Bramley. I don't know. I can't really check my guide to make sure. I usually wait for cutscenes and stuff to try to check my guide or anything like that. Alright, there should be two more things that you can find for sure in this town. And one of these things we actually don't have access to, unfortunately, which really freaking sucks. Which I'll get to that in a second. First things first, let's actually get what we can get. Which is actually a pretty big deal. This locks box. Open it up. Special horse stimulant pamphlet. We're gonna read that. You probably are reading a gold bar, but we're gonna read this first. Special horse stimulant. Early settlers discovered that when sage is mixed with bulrush and carrots, has formed a cathartic compound that returns the highest level of stamina in horses. This proved especially helpful in defeating the English, who are known for their slow, contemplative horses. I don't know why that sounds funny to me. For your horse's general stamina, sage, common bowrush, wild carrot, how to prepare. To prepare a stimulant for your steed, place two of each item in a metal cup and boil over fire. Pour contents into a small bottle, cork, and store. More effective than store-bought Gene A. Frost horse stimulant. Did you know sheep dung dried in an oven and made into a, into a tea cures malises and smallpox? I don't know about that. But hey, you know, whatever. Emma Boyd's Home Physician and Remedy Book. Yeah, I, I don't know if that actually does anything. Maybe that person that tested that got lucky. Yeah, right, we got a gold bar. These are worth $500. And there's really no other use than collecting them or selling them. So sell them and make use out of them for sure. There's only one other type of gold bar that's like 300 bucks. All right, I'm going in here because... There is a, actually, speaking of which, of treasure hunting, you can get a special treasure hunting activity if you download the digital deluxe version of the game. It's exclusive to the digital deluxe version. I don't know if it's like pre-order only. I don't know that for certain, but there was a pre-order to digital deluxe version. You could get access to this special treasure hunting activity that would start here in this building and take you to three separate locations just like every other treasure hunting activity as well now of course i pre-ordered the ultimate collector's edition and got the special steel book and all that maybe one day i'll show it off in a video or something like that and you'll see why like i got it so i can get the the physical version of it because that's what i like to collect so i kind of missed out on this however what i'm gonna do is if I have if you haven't seen it already I'm gonna add a card to this video whatever video it's in with a link to a video um, of somebody else doing that so whatever I do if I put it in the special card as a link or I put it in the description if that doesn't work out please go support whoever's video I put there show them support from me whoever I find and I appreciate whoever I choose this video to be a part of this for helping me make this as much as a 100% completion walkthrough as I can. It's like the only thing I don't have in this game that I know of that I can't do, which really sucks that it's just because I decided to get the collector's edition physical copy that I miss out on it. I hate things like that. But for whoever's video I chose, please go support them, show their support, subscribe to them, like their video and see what else they have to make and a special thank you from myself as well it sucks i'm missing out but hey it is what it is all right we're gonna get the next step 
in this treasure hunting activity. So you gotta go around here. So we went to the small little burnt town, which I think that's what in the map it was trying to show us. And we're gonna come around here. Go up this hill. I believe it's this one. Features, come on, listen to me. Going up hills can be quite a hassle, but it is worth it. Some, well, depending on where you're going. But, you know what I mean. Oh, I could have just started from here. And I do that. Alright, take it slow, because you can always kind of fall off this. Like right here at this point, I'm going to actually get off the horse. You wait here. Go up here. I know I just said to take it slow, so do as I do, not as I say. Or no, do as I say, not as I do. Well, this part is pretty much safe. I remember there's something in this camp that we can get. Valerian root, sweet. We're just getting a bunch of Valerian root. Yeah, a large gold bar can be sold to fence. You can carry 30 of them at most. Which, you should want to sell them anyway. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here. So we're gonna head down. And this is where the map tells you to go. You're gonna head down here to this ledge. That kind of looks like it was made to be walk-on. Almost as if this is a video game. Crazy, right? Get a running start here. Jump! And be sure to press X when you do that. Oh my god, did I? Oh shit. Hold on, did I mess up? I think I messed up. Oh god, oh god! Okay, when was that save? That save was just now. Oh my lord. We're gonna load that before I die. See what I mean? That's a prime example of be careful. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's try that again, shall we? Okay, we still got everything. Yeah, that never happened. We never died. I never fell. You're crazy. You didn't see that. I think I literally walked past where I was supposed to go, so that's my bad. Yeah, I don't listen to myself when I say be careful. This is what they mean when they say don't be overconfident, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we're gonna double check the camp to make sure that it actually got me getting the Valerian route. And it did. So I'm assuming that's where it auto-saved. And before we continue, I'm gonna save now. Just because I know my freaking luck. All right, and Oh my gosh, I'm stupid. So I was going the right way. Jump! Okay, so if you jump at the right time, you don't have to worry about 
um, having to catch the ledge. Then you climb over here, and then you drop down to here. Almost as if it was made to be that way. Crazy, right? And then you come over here, and then you'll get to the point where there'll be a question mark, and you can search it. And you're on to the next step of the treasure hunt. Pearl necklace. Nice. Inspect document. Alright. Now, this is a pretty easy and distinct area to find out where it is if you've been there before. We're actually gonna do a mission or two and get that will take us close to this area. So we're gonna put the treasure hut on pause until we're around that area again. You can probably already tell where it's going and oh my gosh, as if climbing rocks didn't get any more dangerous or more dangerous. I just create words, don't I? All right. We're going to attempt this. Oh, oh, that actually worked out quick. I just freaking teleported. All right. Let's get out of the, the rain and on a cliffside so I don't end up falling off and dying. Which never happened in the first place. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? Let's go, girl. Yeah. We're actually going to take our way back to camp. Do you know? He bloody well does. Of course. Of course he does. What exactly are we talking about? Damn you! Damn all you! You ain't so smart. You little trollop. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan. It really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. What are we gonna do with her? I can think of a few things. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Sure, Arthur. Ooh, ooh, companion activity. Sean, harder one to find. We're gonna do this now. What are you doing? See, I don't just drink this stuff. I also use it. And those blow up okay? Sure. Get the rag in right. Get it all properly soaked. <laughs> yeah, get us a bottle of whiskey. I'll make you a few. Maybe. Yes. Compared to you drinking, Little explosion is nothing. <sighs> Shut up. Hi, Sean. All right, Arthur. All right, so we seem to take the Kentucky bourbon, so that worked out good. That's two companion activities done in a very short amount of time. I remember it took me forever to find Sean's. And it's probably easier to start that one in Chapter 2 than it is in Chapter 3. Arthur, Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Oh, don't be like that. Uh, you know, just, a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Dead lost. Well, well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. I do have a heart. I just also have a brain, too. Alright, do I got any spare things to donate? 
I know we got a lot of money in there, but that's that's fine. I don't know if you guys heard their conversation, but they were talking about what goes on on the moon. Hi, Arthur. I hate missing things like that, but that's okay. Hi, Arthur. Looks like hard work. Oh, not really. Maybe it wasn't that right, much well, of a real conversation, though. You could tell me I was I was hurrying up trying to put that stuff on there. Bill, why don't you sit instead of cluttering up the place? All right, ladies and gentlemen, before we actually start the next uh, mission slash, I think they're technically called camp activities. We're going to do some chores and talk to a couple people in camp. Just to kind of see what we can get at the camp. I mostly want to pick up, like, camp activities. Not camp activities, like camp requests. That's what they're Good called. Job, Arthur. Before we head out. Hey, Bill. Hey. You let it. I ran away from them boys and joined these fine gentlemen. They're okay. And we're going to be okay. If you'd only see that. I heard everything you said. I was sleeping, you lunatic. Don't. Hello. Me angry. Oh. Oh. Huh? You'll start howling at some other moon? Like, like this one? <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Reverend? Not now, Arthur. Delightful, Uncle. Well, he's cracked in the head, that one. And you're not? Arthur's always got jokes, doesn't he? Switch into a different outfit right now. Um, let's see. Which ones do I have on the horse? Tumbleweed will remove this one. I actually hold on. Let me see what we have in terms of order of stuff. We're about to do Javier Escuela, then a Josea mission, so we need to make sure that we have the rebel on our horse. Sorry, I'm looking at things, guys. Looking for... Oh, crap. Oh. Okay. Okay. I see how I messed that up. That's fine. 
I got I made a little bit of a mistake in my outfit system, but that's fine. Enough of that. Uh We don't need to store that, we're good, but we do need to get into the Nuevo Pariso outfit. And we might actually have to go and change our outfits anyway. Which, I don't know. Um Yeah, we might have to do that anyway, just to switch out of the, this. Well, well, we'll see how it turns out. Well, hello. Ah, there he is. England's finest. <laughs> don't irritate me, boy. The truth hurts, don't it? Hey, Sean. Arthur. Miss Karen, how are you getting on? Fine so far. <laughs> and to think I was once a damsel in distress, and now they got me protecting the men. <laughs> Just stay alert. Oh, I shall do. And if anyone tries anything, I'll blow their heads off. Nice to know the camp is in good hands. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Hey, Mary Beth. Hi. Doing a good job there. You mind leaving me to it? Sorry, shouldn't distract you. Sure, okay. Oh, poor, poor Mary Beth just gets slapped around by freaking Grimshaw. Yeah, I don't really see why Grimshaw has to be so mean. But this is a personal thing. Maybe I just, I'm just not in tune with the times. Okay, well, I was kind of hoping a couple of um, camp requests would uh, be asked of us. Let's eat, and then we'll probably just do Javier's mission. We'll have plenty of time to come back to the camp later. Interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. But they're well hidden in the woods. That sounds pretty dubious. Of course. Yeah, yeah, it's dubious, but... There ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. It's up north. 
On the other side of the river from Valentine. Best way there is from Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the Um really don't don't need this. this. Follow me. The one repeat arrival will do us fine. We're actually gonna need to get a new weapon too, so <laughs> there's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I wanna make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Oh, big place, right? binoculars well, there's a pretty big barn in the back it's not a bad place to start looking there must be a lot of people living here a large house this could be in any one of them buildings and who knows how many people are in there I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees? I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. Coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. I hear voices. You're the one talking right now. behind the shed see if we can hear what they're saying just stay quiet where are you been now newt don't be boiling now pappy i's gone but 10 minutes i was can holly gag all the now day long because Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper or I'll flag her your felt, I will. Your niece will pull it up, boy. Up. Go guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Be quiet. I am quiet.
What the hickory happened here? I'll wait for Javier to make the move. You got to put this out, don't you? Oh. Hey, I keep. I'm gonna rush the cabin. I didn't want that. Just a father left. All right, that about settles business. I don't see any more of them. All right, quick, let's look for the stash. They weren't shy about defending that barn. Let's check in there first. Okay, we are actually not going to do that. We're gonna loot these guys. Because I'm not sure if this is like a situation where it's, um, the, somebody will report a crime after the mission's done. So I don't want to take that risk and loot the place. Just give me a second, Javier. I want the money. I just want everything else here, too. Okay, premium cigarettes. Ooh, I also found out that the last premium cigarette we got, I believe, is actually one that's locked off in the epilogue. So, yay! Always love to see it. Let's hope for another one. Come on, we didn't come all this way for nothing. Schooner. I believe that one is not, but that's okay. Can wait a darn minute, Javier. Okay. Let me clean this. think drinking the health cares or anything adds to like actually eating food or like weight or anything like that so I'll like do that for other things so we can kind of fight Arthur losing so much weight so fast but it really is okay at the end of the day show me the money warmer rum I'll take that there's nothing else in here oh I guess not Look at this, a weapon case just for us. A pump action shotgun. Yeah, we're getting this really early in the game. I believe this camp activity is actually some one of the bonuses you can get from um, getting the ultimate edition or something like that or the deluxe edition or something. 
So just keep that in mind. You can also get the pump action shotgun for free. I never get it for free because you can get it from this mission. So I liked it to feel natural. Even though we are not going to use the pump action shotgun probably for a very, 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 very long time. So it's really no use at the end of the day. At least not right now. I haven't even gotten the double barrel shotgun yet. And I won't even probably use that regularly until we... uh get done with um, the sawed off shotgun okay I believe this is we don't want to study this one but we want to study this one Tobiano Tobiano I'm scared to study that one because I believe it's a Tennessee Walker but I could be completely wrong Oh god, do I risk it? Do I risk it? I'm risking it! Yes, I was okay. Okay, good. Red Roan. Red Roan. Come on. Okay, we have ridden the Red Roan. And we have ridden the Tobiano of the American Paint. Alright, that should be... We should be study horses for a while now. We should be able to get, be using, we should be able to start getting, um, familiarity with all those horses for a long time before we need to get a study another one. The Jack Hall Gang. We just heard about this gang from, uh, that treasure hunter guy. Take advantage of the premium cigarettes. As long as you smoke one, you should be able to pick up a new pack. Which one did we get? The Thoroughbred. I don't know where that one is, but I have a feeling that it's not in the epilogue. Now, if you wanted to find Alaskan ginseng, this place has a whole farm for it. Right here. We're not going to pick it now. I'm probably going to come back to this place later for it. Money stacks, let's go. Uh, we, we don't have to give this to Javier. This, this could be our take, along with what we're already gonna take. All right, but that's the last of stuff we need to loot. Now let's finish this mission. Told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good. Do I want to try to take this horse into Valentine? 
Okay, looks like we have two in there. So, yeah, I think we should do that because getting the American paints to spawn are a little bit more difficult from my memory. So, I I'm going I'm to take this one. Back to Valentine. And then we'll kind of head back up here to explore this area when we are going to head towards... um. Hosea's mission, because that is the next mission on our list. 